Hey guys, I'm here in quarantine camp again. This time they sent me to Australia as a punishment for saying I thought maybe the government wants to keep the pandemic going a little longer. And I shouldn't have said that because I lost my job and my family and well, I'm in prison. <laughs> but today they let me walk outside today without a mask on as long as I stay at least five miles away from the next prisoner. It's pretty cool. I miss that smell. Anyhow, Lord President Fauci said, we might be back to normal by the year 2096. I'll be long dead, but I hope someone gets to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, th that would be more funny if it wasn't that accurate. And that's literally your future if you continue to comply. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski here of wearechange.org. And we got a lot of information to get into today, even today on Thanksgiving. Since, of course, the insanity and lunacy does not stop, especially when it comes to the actions of the Biden administration, that literally is creating a dangerous situation for everyone that we should all be aware of. We're going to get into that, plus a lot more, as well as the latest device and conquer news but before we do that plus a lot more the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is by a Tyler Fisher who posted this video on Twitter who uh, I would say definitely knocked it out of, of the prison camp we're gonna link his YouTube channel down in the description below so you could of course watch more of his work and support him now as the president of the United States gets to enjoy Thanksgiving at his 20 million dollar Nantucket retreat all, of course, on a modest politician's salary, sending out an extremely tone-deaf message to the average Americans who are struggling to make ends meet, while, of course, some Americans in Wisconsin are still mourning the loss of their loved ones after a tragic event in Wisconsin from the actions of what looks like a deranged sociopath that has gotten away with far too many crimes because of institutional corruption. This man is, of course, BLM supporter Daryl Brooks, who also surprisingly had a GoFundMe started for him in the sum of $5 million by an alleged fellow supporter of BLM. Now, GoFundMe announced that they have taken down this GoFundMe for his legal fees. The crowdfunding campaign was started by someone identified as a James Norton, a self-proclaimed BLM supporter that claims that Darrow is innocent and that he is a victim of, quote, racism. Yep, that's some of the lunacy out there trying to, of course, bail out a career criminal that was previously convicted for threatening to bomb a casino, child trafficking, assaulting children in unspeakable ways, and it looks like almost every step in his criminal history, he was given a pass, given the benefit of the doubt, and in some instances, even given a bail of a thousand dollars bond for a previous atrocious action that he committed against his ex-girlfriend accused of actions that were very similar to of course what he did in wisconsin this as new eyewitness reports are coming in saying that he even zigzagged deliberately trying to hit as many people as he could with his suv with many witnesses and authorities coming forward saying that this was a deliberate attack from someone who of course openly hated white people and called them the quote enemy but very interestingly the corporate media just keeps detailing this as an accident as a car crash as a parade crash when in reality the facts of this case are a lot different than what we are being purported them to be very interestingly this administration that loves to jump into race relation issues has also been very oddly silent about this entire matter all of course as they're doubling down on a kid named Kyle, who was just found innocent in a court of law for self-defense, which uh, they're still blaming it all on uh, Donald Trump for, for some reason. Another thing that the corporate media keeps obfuscating is, of course, how many powerful ruling elites in this country are also tied into some of the most grotesque, disgusting actions that you wouldn't even imagine. All, of course, as a judge just declared that the details surrounding Ghislaine Maxwell's case is, quote, too sensational and impure for the general public. As the judge agreed to keep certain details of this ongoing criminal case 
secret and closed to the general public. And that is absolutely a cover-up. That is absolutely a disgusting attempt by the authorities in this country to deny the people of the United States the larger truths of how deprived its inner core absolutely is. And again, to have more documents sealed, portions of, of transcripts denied because they're deemed too sensational and impure for the general public is an absolute travesty of injustice that deserves to be called that. We're going to be talking about this plus a lot more all, of course, because we, we can't get into the, the details here, but we're going to be talking about this exclusively on LukeUncensored.com later on today, as well as uh, some absolutely crazy videos of uh, this administration lying through their teeth about very important issues. Again, we're going to have a real unfiltered, uncensored conversation on LukeUncensored.com. I hope to see some of you guys there, as there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in this world. Too crazy to even mention here on this YouTube channel. All of that, plus a lot more, including even Change Media University, Apocalypse Survival Training Drills, all available to you on our own platform, LukeUncensored.com. Dot com. Click the link down in the description below to find out more about it. Now, when it comes to this current administration in the United States, a lot of people think about someone that is clueless, someone that is not really there, someone that, of course, is dealing with cognitive decline in a sense, which prevents them from carrying out the executive duties of the presidency. And... In my own personal opinion, that is absolutely the wrong perspective to have. That is the perspective that, of course, the corporate media establishment want you to have. As when we closely look at Biden's policies, there are policies that are extremely unpopular with the general public, but do greatly benefit his inner circle, many powerful multinational corporations, many big banks, and many, quote, globalists, internationalists, People with huge sums of power, money, and influence that are only becoming more richer, more powerful because of these grotesque policies that are put forward by this Biden administration. I really do believe that this belief that he's just senile, not really there, is just a cover for the larger agenda being played against you. I do believe there's a lot of circumstantial evidence suggesting this to be the case. And if you look at who's happy because of the major moves that he's been making that has been upending the majority of Americans' lives, it's people like Hillary Clinton, the epitome of the corporate establishment, who just went on MSNBC, her favorite cheerleaders broadcast, and said that President Biden is committing, quote, extraordinary accomplishments, especially with his, quote, Build Back Better bill. And of course, as we know, the Build Back Better term has been a term that has been institutionalized for a number of years now by the World Economic Forum, by the big banks, by major corporations all around this world that are pushing the 2030 agenda that, of course, is also aligned with the Great Reset. So the fact that Hillary Clinton is happy that Biden is implementing the Build Back Better Great Reset agenda highlights the progression that the government has been making against its citizens, as, of course, we know that agenda is essentially trying to create a slave class of individuals that will own nothing, have no privacy, and allegedly according to the World Economic Forum, be happier than ever. How will they do all of this? Well, if you have to own nothing, you have to be robbed blind. And if you look at what's happening financially, almost every step of the way, the federal government is making significant moves here, trying to, of course, rob you of your wealth. And they have been doing that successfully as currently. We are going through the largest transfer of wealth in recorded human history. Energy prices have skyrocketed under the Biden administration's policy that has, of course, attacked domestic energy production, of course, focusing on Saudi Arabia to import most of our oil, all in the name of, quote, environmental justice. Equity efforts are also underway that, of course, will siphon away more tax dollars away from the general public and implement them towards, of course, discriminatory racist policies that push the divide and conquer agenda that have people fighting each other so they don't see the larger agenda being played against them. The Biden administration just announced that they're releasing 50 million barrels 
levels of America's oil reserve. And according to estimates, that's the amount of oil that the United States consumes in three days. Yes. So the Biden administration literally released three days worth of oil and they're acting like there's some kind of generous God in doing so. When in reality, the price is as high as it is for energy mainly because of the draconian policies implemented by the Biden administration that, of course, restrict not only energy production, but, of course, the transferring and transportation of that energy, which also has been largely impacted by many mandates that the government is also adding that will only get worse. This Biden administration has been so brazen as they literally tried to get a communist that believed that the U.S. Federal Reserve should be in charge of everyone's private banking. Yes, this lady called literally for everyone's bank accounts to be confiscated and be and to be implemented into the Federal Reserve System to serve as this country's comptroller of the currency. Now, luckily, it looks like this person will not get appointed, will not get approved even by Democrats. But this is an example of how brazen this administration has been, as, of course, it cheerleads political ideologies that call for the decriminalization of crime, that call for bail reform, that call for, of course, equity efforts that are essentially leading to utter chaos on the streets here, as, of course, even major corporations like Best Buy are being hit by looting gangs, which is absolutely killing the retail businesses in major democratic areas. Now, why are people looting? Well, a lot of it has been decriminalized. Second, People are in poverty and their wealth is literally being robbed of them. Their savings is literally being liquidated by massive money printing that, of course, is causing the prices of everything to go up as, of course, wages stagnate. This, as, of course, there's more tensions between the United States and Russia. This, of course, will also hinder energy production for Europe, America's allies in the Western world, as, of course, militaries are already amassing on the Russian-Ukrainian border, as, of course, there has been major saber rattling by the West and the United States. Oh, we're dealing with an energy crisis that may soon hit Europe, may soon hit the United States. You know what's going to be a great policy to push forward? Well, a discriminatory policy that's going to prevent a large portion of the American public from working, implementing, of course, a mandate system, which the Biden administration plans to do in just a few weeks from now. We have seen how this has played in effect in major cities all throughout the United States. These are mainly discriminatory policies that obviously affect the majority of black people in major urban areas. And of course, that fact is not even talked about as they preach equity efforts at the same time. In New York City, Bozo de Clown, who's luckily getting kicked out of office very soon, the mayor here, Bill de Blasio, is now calling for everyone to be compliant with the whims of government, for everyone now to take a procedure in order to even ride the subways in New York City. A discriminatory policy that, of course, will hurt the economy as already the economy is reeling because of previous lockdowns, because of previous government intervention measures, which, of course, will only get worse from here. As even the World Health Organization director came out and said, that making these mandates will create deliberate chaos and riots. And in my opinion, with the way that the ruling establishment has been acting, that this is what they want. They want order out of chaos. They want the divide and conquer agenda. They want fear. They want people hurt because when people are in a negative low down state, well, they're going to need more government. And that's the business that the government is in, according to my own personal opinion. If you think I'm right, share this video with your friends, family members. Hey, you're sitting across from them in the dinner table. Be like, hey, you guys should check this out to get a different perspective here, other than, of course, the corporate media. And because you guys do that, I'm still here. I got one more video coming your way on LukeUncensored.com. I love you guys. Have a great and amazing Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are spending it with your family members. I know I am. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to be spending as much time with them as I can throughout this weekend. Enjoy those moments while you still have them. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more.